Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what is inside this cloth and paper subscription box. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so much again and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new and hello, if you're a returning subscriber, I truly appreciate your support. Like I said in the intro, I am going to be showing you what is inside this cloth and paper subscription box that I just received in the mail this week. I'm super excited to see what's inside because it is a nice size box, y'all. So all I have done is peel the tape off. So as usual, this will be a blind reaction to what I'm seeing inside the box. I have not actually seen any sneaks this time. I haven't even really been trying to avoid it this time. I just haven't seen anything. So it kind of worked out in my favor this month. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. Oh, so first there's luxury and simplicity. I think the box is kind of changing up a little bit. So that's a little fancy. And then as you can see, you have a new little like insert thing. So that's pretty cool. I already know that I absolutely love these colors. So it says it comes with a swatch dashboard, a balance dashboard, new beginnings dashboard, monthly admin insert, weekly admin insert, planning tools um, without, oh, these are quote cards. There's the March card and agenda thing and arch folder half sticky notes and the matchstick page flag so i absolutely love these colors already so i'm excited to see what we got going on in here so i'm going to move this box out of the way now i just wanted to show it to you because it is a little different than normal sorry for all the noise all right so on top we have this little packet and again, y'all, these colors are gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of like a gold. It's probably not considered gold, but that's what it, it's giving me kind of like some gold vibes over here. So you have these super cute page flags. It says uh, match stick page flags. Super cute. So you get the three colors. Then you have these half sticky notes, which I absolutely love, and they are in the matte size. Tuscany, oh, that's what they're calling this, Tuscany, that's fancy. So this should certainly fit in the pocket because of the half page size. Um, the three inches, I believe, is a little bit too wide to fit the sheet because of the holes, but a half will be perfect. And then here is one of the dashboards. I love the back of it. Super cute. Here is the other, the balance dashboard. Balance is not something you find, it's something you create. Oh, I love that. That's definitely true. Here's another dashboard in that Tuscany color. Beautiful. All right, and then these are the weekly admin um, planner pocket pages. So you have your days of the week up here, and then some tasks, and then your habits. I'm not sure if I would use these. It's so small. I'm like, I don't even know if I could make anything fit. Same with these. Let me see if there's anything else to these other than this front. Y'all, tell me what a monthly admin page is. I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. So here's the front of this one, and then, oh, and then the back just has notes. So this one could be a little bit more beneficial, for me at least, because I can put like a dot here to signify that there's an event coming up, and then on the back, write what that event is. So I kind of like these for like the pre-planning type situation, but I'm not sure about these, because I don't really use the weekly pages anymore. Like I prefer the daily pages now. So, I mean, I guess if I used it like, also like a pre-planning per week kind of thing, then I could always do that. Because it is kind of, um, I don't really like, oh, or maybe I could even use it for bills. That might be nice too. Instead of, yeah, maybe use it as a bill tracker. I don't know. Because I don't really track any habits. Um, and then I have like a million sheets for tasks already. So I don't know. I'm going to try to figure out a way to use this though. And it might even be good for 
um, marking the bills off for the week just so I can have them in multiple places. So I remember to pay them. I'm one of the people that always had the money. I just don't always remember to pay. So this might be good to use for that. Um, and then, of course, you have your March card, which is my favorite month. Because it's my birthday month. So I celebrate all month of March. Because that's what a Pisces can do if they want to. That's our business. So here is the March card. My birthday is on March 1st, which is a Tuesday this year. And... Here is the quote cards, create without boundaries. I love that. This one's pretty. So I like these because you can literally just kind of like punch them and then, um, you know, stick them in your planner wherever you want to. Oh, well, that's nice. This agenda belongs to and then your contact information here. I actually just made some of these. I'm getting ready to add them to my shop um, so that they fit inside the pockets of the pocket size planner i'm pretty sure this one will not fit because i feel like that's too wide but i could be mistaken um but it's still really cool to make this a functioning card and then it gives you some quick planning tools so i like those i don't use an inbox i really need to start doing that better um categorize your tasks like, oh that's smart schedule your top three tasks yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, those are some quick planning tools. Hope you guys can see those. And then last but not least, we have this super cute folder. That's very pretty. Let me open it up. Oh, I love, again, I love this color. It has like an elastic string on it. And then, yeah, here's your folder. I don't know what this is for, but I like it. So if anybody knows what to do with this, let me know. But here it has like the pocket on the side. And then there's a little space for maybe a card. And then, yeah. So what are we doing with this? Let me know. Especially if you got this box. What are you doing with it? Um... So I think I'm not going to try to do that right now. I think my favorite thing in this particular box is probably the half sticky notes. I think those are really cool. And then the page flags, I really enjoy. I absolutely love the colors in the box. Like this is totally, you know, kind of my thing. Um, as you can see in my nails, like I am a gold kind of girl. But I do like things to be neutral again, which is what draws me to continuing to subscribe to this cloth and paper subscription box in the first place. Um, cause if you've been watching my channel, you know, I've had many subscription boxes, but this one keeps me coming because I do like to see, you know, what the new things are as well as, you know, continuing to have those items in my planner that are neutral and functional and, um, you know, timeless. So I love that these are undated because of course I can, you know, decide to use them now and then later on I'm like, nah, I don't really want to. So then I can go back to them whenever I want to, which is awesome. So anyway, that is it for this unboxing. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.